probably somewhere in the region of, of about 65 to 70 percent of all the organized crime groups in Northern Ireland will be directly involved in the distribution or importation of uh, drugs. Um, at the same time, uh, at this stage, we have somewhere in the region of about 80 organized crime groups. So it gives you a flavor. This is a really big issue in terms of organized criminality in Northern Ireland. Um, certainly because of the context here in Northern Ireland, somewhere in the region of about 20 to 25 percent of those groups will have some kind of paramilitary connection, either direct or indirectly. Um, and that just adds an extra layer of complexity to the problem that we're facing here. An almost complete contradiction of their supposed ideology. What we tend to see actually is cooperation between different groups. You know, they'll deal drugs into each other and their various communities because w what essentially motivates the majority of these groups is, is money. It's purely and simply about greed. It's not about ideology. I think it's fair to say that drugs are an important commodity for paramilitary organized crime groups, whether that's them being involved directly in the supply of those drugs or their involvement in the extortion of uh, those that are involved in drug supply. There is also an element of um, foreign national involvement in organized crime in Northern Ireland. Again, probably about 10% of the groups that we see will have some kind of international um, connection, whether it's people who have come from, for example, other parts of Europe and become resident here and are involved in criminal enterprise, or groups that have connections that extend back to other countries as well. The three biggest drugs seized in Northern Ireland, you know, in kind of descending order, the biggest drug is um, herbal cannabis. After that, it's cocaine, and then it, you're looking at the likes of um, heroin after that. Cannabis is the backbone of the drugs economy, and with that comes the violence, intimidation, the drugs debt in Ireland. It's, forcing young people to take their lives, it's resulting in these barbaric paramilitary style attacks. You know, as a society we need to stand up against this as a collective in order to uh, keep our community safe.